Hi guys, today I want to show you how you can use the new observer block as a random pulse generator. So the observer block detects block state changes now, and saplings also have different block stages. So if I open the F3 screen, you can see the block is at stage one, uh, the sapling is at stage one at the moment. A new sapling would be at stage zero, and if a sapling would advance to stage two, it would try to grow into a tree. But if you block this by just placing a block above, the sapling advances to stage two, but since it can't grow, uh, it goes back to stage one. And the observer detects that. So if I try it with bone meal, there's now a 45% chance that the bone meal would um, advance the sapling to the next stage, and the observer can detect it. But this does not only work with the bone meal, uh, it also works with the random ticks. So the saplings also have a chance to advance to the next stage once they're selected by the random ticks. Every block is selected by the game on average once in about 68 seconds. And if the sapling is selected by the random tick, there's a 1 in 7 chance that the sapling would advance to the next stage. So in total, the observer would turn on once in 7.96 minutes on average. I could easily increase the chance, so let's try to increase it by a factor of 100, and then this would turn on about every 6 seconds, as you can see here, and you can adjust it even more, then I would yeah, blink all the time, more or less. But the default value is 3, so once in 68 seconds. You can also turn this on and off, just need to yeah, encase the sapling with uh, blocks that yeah, are opaque. And then, as you can see, if I turn it back up again, while this lamp is on, this doesn't blink at all. But I can turn it on by just uh, providing light level. Saplings also need uh, light level 9. So this really compact circuit could be useful if you want to activate every once in a while. And it doesn't matter when exactly it would activate. For example, if we have a fireworks dispenser, then this would shoot out a fireworks rocket every 8 minutes on average. But if 8 minutes is a little bit, is a little bit too infrequent for you, you could also try uh, something like this. And this quadruples the chances, since we have 4 saplings now. So you can see if I try to bone mill this one here, the uh, saplings share the growth stages. So this would be four times more f frequent, so th th this would turn on once every two minutes on average. But you could also combine this circuit with other random generators. So for example, you could power this dropper here. And here we have um, eight stackable items, which um, would give out a single strength of one um, if they are shot into the hopper and one sword, which would give a foul signal strength 2 when it's shot in the hopper. So this uh, decreases the chances by 9 to activate. Uh, let's try to decrease the chance by a lot now. And as you can see here, the comparator would turn on and off, but it needs to shoot out the sword, so this yeah, redstone lamp would turn on. So on average with the default value, this would turn on once in 70 to 2 minutes on average, and still quite a compact circuit. You could also go really crazy with the sapling random pulse generator by chaining it. So here we just block the skylight um, so it doesn't interfere with anything. And here we chain it. So the first sapling would get activated once every 8 minutes on average. And this would turn on this redstone lamp here. And then for just a short moment, to be exact, 6 game ticks, this redstone lamp would provide light to the next sapling so it can grow. The chance is approximately 1 in 1600 that it would uh, advance to the next stage. So this has to turn on about 1600 times, so this would be yeah, turn on once. In this way you can get really low probabilities for a really compact circuit. So after two iterations we are already at 8 for 8 days, then we are at 38 years approximately, then we are already at 61,000 years almost 100 million years, and just after 7 iterations we are already at 155 billion years on average. So if somebody would have built this in Minecraft directly after the Big Bang and waited until now, there's just a 9% chance that this would have activated once. And this is quite a compact circuit as you can see. And if you go even crazier, just after 
about 12 or 13 iterations, we are at 1.6 times 10 to the power of 27. And that's approximately the medium lifetime of electrons and protons. So this would quite take quite a while on average to activate once. But since this all are only chances, could happen in the next second. So chaining it more than twice probably has no application at all, but it's still quite interesting still. And yeah, if you do it once, uh, maybe combine it with other random pulse generators, then this might have a use in survival even. It's quite a compact circuit. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.